So, first of all, congratulations to each and every CA Inter student who ever have qualified in the exams. And the remaining students who ever have failed. See, there are many reasons why we fail in exam. At the same time, there will be a number of reasons why we succeed in exam. Just because you the result card shows it is failed, it doesn't really mean you failed. There might be some there, there might be some mistake or sometimes sometimes bad luck favors you. One percent of out of hundred failure cases, one out of hundred, what I generally notice is bad luck. Like they they are, they are a can I mean he is a candidate or she is a candidate deserved to be passed, but somehow because of the valuation loopholes or some mistake, you know they might be getting a negative result. At the same time, some students who qualify, some of them were very much you know equipped with luck some of them you know having luck factor they deserve to be failed but god knows okay luck favored in qualified but 99 percent of the cases the result that we get that we deserve it the result whatever we are getting is a deserved result 99 percent of the cases i can say now what would be the reason why we fail in exam see just because People who passed in exam, who succeeded in exam, don't think that they did everything rightly. No. They might have done mistakes. So many mistakes they also did. But luck favored them. Or many other factors would have favored them. But 99% of the cases for a student who failed in exam, there will be three major mistakes. There will be three major mistakes. I'm not saying those who qualified did not commit these mistakes. They would have committed. But because of some reason, they would have qualified. Some other factor. But why we fail? These three mistakes are very prominent mistakes based on my analysis. Based on my analysis, based on number of students that I interact every day. This is my analysis. And the first mistake that every student do is, you know, test series. Test series is the, one of the biggest mistake which every student do. What is this? You know, through test, uh, through test series, students are learning in reverse direction. Reverse direction they are learning. They are learning in reverse direction. They are learning in reverse direction. What is reverse direction? How students are learning through test series, you know? They, they finish coaching with moderate clarity. Like the, in the market, I don't find many coaching institutes who are giving qualitative coaching. In fact, they don't even speak about coaching concept. They only speak about study or revision exams. That's the only business. That is their main business. Many, many institutes for them, the main business is today study or revision exams. Okay. Because they, they can't compete in, in terms of quality of coaching. So what, what is happening for the students also? Student, the moment he fail or uh, the moment he think of qualifying exam, blindly going and joining in the revision exams test series. What, what is happening? He is chasing the exam and what is the syllabus upcoming? Learning. Learning with the half clarity, half knowledge, going and writing the exam and somehow in the test series, same questions will come. He will qualify. But when he come to the final exam, that question will not be there. Final exam will be asking a purely, completely new, different conceptual question. But this student did not learn conceptually. This student knows only those questions which are tested in test series which are tested in revision exams. Only those questions he can answer. He cannot answer a new question, which shows you are conceptually very weak. Why? And, and see, many students, they are learning in the reverse direction. Okay, in test series, a new concept came. Okay, that concept we have to learn. Suppose a student prepared in chapter 1, 5 concepts, attended test series. Some 3 concepts related uh, thing was tested in exam. 3 concepts he wrote. Some another concept came in test series, but he don't know that. What the student is doing, he is just learning that additional concept after writing test series. See, are you learning in the reverse direction based on examination, what is tested, based on that you will learn or you have to learn first everything and then go for the exam. Which one is right approach? The second one. Getting it. <coughs> so, you should always learn in the right direction and you know, test series you, you see, you know, many, many, many claim that test series revision exams is a very big factor for success, but that's wrong. 99% of the students who qualify, or I can say 90% of the students who qualify, 
they qualified the 90% of the reason suppose if a student qualified an exam if i look at the analysis why he qualified reason 90% reason is attributable for conceptual clarity 90% reason suppose i'll put question in a different direction why you failed why you failed point number 1 is it because you did not have enough time to answer in the exam or is it because you don't know the answer to that question suppose you are attending paper for 3 hours sir i i attempted for entire 3 hours sir but i could only attempt 50 60 marks time is not enough sir i know 100 marks of the paper but only thing is time is not enough i'm not having enough practice to write this exam is this the reason or sir 3 hours is more than enough or 3 hours is enough but the problem is i don't know more than 35 40 marks of the questions i don't know answer settle i have never seen that question 90% of the students come under the second category and you know what whoever is promoting test series all that what they are advertising they are advertising test series will make you prepare for the exam so that you can save time so that you can write exam within 3 hours but the problem look look the problem why student is failing in exam the problem why student is failing in exam is not because of not having enough time but because he don't know the answer he don't know the answer to the question ignore that many students are not able to understand the question itself especially theory paper some students are unable to figure out what they should write which answer they should write this is happening because you are depending too much on test series and learning in the reverse direction please wake up now even after watching this video even if 10 15 20 100 students whoever it is even if you realize that's enough for me learn in the right direction we never attended in my ca final i never attended one test series exam also not only me many of my friends were there okay even today when i'm getting results many students whoever follow me absolutely they have never attended test series still qualified test series if you attend see if you learn complete concepts thoroughly excellent go and attend test series i don't have any problem because you learned everything correctly you learned everything understood 100% just that you are testing yourself that's fine but you know test series is not a medium for learning the subject understand i hope you are able to understand what i'm trying to tell second one second mistake that is what incidental mistake only incidental reason conceptual learning many are lacking conceptual learning sir what do you mean by conceptual learning sir everyone speaks about conceptual learning but no one explains what exactly means conceptual learning versus other than conceptual learning what is conceptual learning and what is not a conceptual learning suppose take costing itself i even have uploaded our srinivasan srinivas reddy sir demo our faculty class demo standard costing you have variance analysis right formulas if you are learning the formula ah column 1 minus column 3 column 2 minus column 4 this is not conceptual learning why you have to minus column 3 from column 1 why you have to minus column 3 from column 2 why you have to what is meant by material mix variance what do you mean meant by you know labor way, labor way, what do you mean by labor variance why should we understand labor variance why should we understand material variance why should we understand fixed overhead calendar variance why should we learn that why it's not how it's not what it's why if you are able to understand example another example i'll give suppose you are a company law student you know holding company subsidiary company definition you are learning every one of you learned what is holding company what is subsidiary company excellent but my question is why should we learn those definitions why first of all company law gave those two definitions what is the really why we should study the relationship between holding and subsidiary what is the reason first of all why should i incorporate company i can inco i can without incorporation i can carry out business right why should i incorporate company learn that and then look at the book it appears very simple if you look at the book and learn what is there in the book that is the only point if you are learning you are not actually learning the concept you are learning the sentences understand sentence learning is different from conceptual learning what is important is conceptual learning memory is a by product and another most important reason everyone want shortcuts people think 
shortcut is the shortest path wrong normal approach is the easiest path to reach the success point see you can work smart but don't work short working short is different from working smart you know what is true smart work conceptual learning is a true smart work so what do you mean by shortcut according to you sir what do you mean by shortcut in your perspective of definition shortcut means following chat books you know when you can follow chat books when you can follow chat books i read main ici study material or i read main mate suppose if you are following if you are if you are my student uh, i'll give classes for my students like i'll give material also soft copy that material is at par with ici standard at par with ici standard i never say my material is very easy than ici but i will say my material will be flexible to read compared to ici material if you complete thoroughly reading of the ici material or my material or any other author's material fully you understood everything just for revision sake remember many students think they have to do revision four five times not required man one revision is enough if your original preparation is the best preparation one revision is enough in fact i always tell never do revision separately do revision as part of preparation and that is what i call it as cumulative preparation i call it as cumulative preparation sir what is cumulative revision or cumulative preparation i will attach to this video i will attach to this video just at, uh, check at the top of the video just check at the top of the video there will be an icon if you click on that you will find some attachments to this video cumulative revision i will attach you just go through that you will understand what is cumulative revision like that if you do one revision along with original preparation if your original preparation is best that's enough so chart book and one more biggest mistake which i find students want to learn entire concept from fast track videos you know one one uh, you know i will tell you my business secret i will never have i will never do fast track you know i never sell fast track classes i never sell crash course classes at my ca final advanced audit even at our ca inter in our institute we only have one course that is regular course we only have only one course that is regular course if you want to learn the subject completely or you want to learn only two third of the subject okay learn two third only but listen only to the regular mode of listening to the classes not crash version not fast track version fast track version and crash version will make you of, will make you feel that you completed coaching but it will not give you a complete conceptual comprehensive learning to you you will get complete learning conceptual learning comprehensive learning only by attending regular classes but what i notice many students they want to buy fast track even today today results were announced right many students asking me fast track classes sir fast track classes available for ca inter law so fast track classes available for costing i will tell straight away we don't have sorry no other reply i give if you want we have only regular class go and buy that we have subscription mode where you can get entire one group coaching at 4000 rupees for one month validity if you want to complete uh, if you want to go for coaching for 3 months 2 months only you have to pay third month is free totally 8000 rupees you are getting one single group regular mode of coaching consisting of 600 to 700 hours only one group both the groups 1200 hours of coaching sir we don't have enough time don't worry finish only two third of the chapters in every subject in every subject finish two third of the chapters 20 chapters or they focus only on 14 chapters in every subject listen to them thoroughly carefully 99.99% you will get you will understand what mistakes you did you will understand how many concepts you ignored so fast track classes is very dangerous fast track classes you know fast track classes i upload it free of cost in youtube for all other subjects also i'm very soon uploading fast track classes for costing accounts all that subjects i'm going to upload it free of cost in youtube but believe me they're only for revision once you learn the entire subject for the sake of getting more clarity as a whole listen to the fast track classes that's it but fast track class should not be the medium of learning avoid shortcuts avoid shortcuts this is what i can tell you sir acha what is subscription model i'll tell you what is subscription model if at all you want to have complete conceptual proper learning i suggest you to take our subscription course which is well acclaimed course you can see we have students across 20 states in india we are having today student from delhi uttar pradesh rajasthan 
almost what not every state in India is being covered. The only reason without marketing, without telecalling, without advertising, we are getting all this. Only reason, true quality and powerful mouth publicity. Strong mouth publicity. I'll tell you, I'll show you how our subscription model works out. I'll show you. So if you download our application in Play Store, Sreshta for CA and CMA, login as a student, login. And there is an option called store. You will find these courses. You will find all these courses, all these courses. Now you see here, you know, we have both groups subscription model for 6,200. We have group one for 4,130, group two. Remember, all these courses are valued only for 31 days each. Do you get entire syllabus within 31 days? Yes, we will give entire videos. Okay. Now, if you look at group one, sorry, if you look at group two, if you look at group two, just a minute. If you look at group two, you see May 2022 lectures, we have 347 videos, approximately 500 to 550 are still few videos are pending. Advanced accounting, suppose example, if you take advanced accounting, almost 86 videos were uploaded. Uh, just a minute, it's opening. 86 videos were already uploaded, still 30 more videos are there, which will come within another 10-15 days. And even auditing, just la just another 5-10 hours is pending. The moment you buy this group 2 course, you will get entire videos access. Any chapter you want, you can watch. But till date, you did that mistake. From now onwards, if at all you want to take our subscription course, learn from the beginning. Learn from the beginning. Follow instruction, every instruction carefully. Learn in the proper order. Suppose you want to learn advanced accounts. Example, okay, first start watching this approach video by faculty. Uh, Satya sir. Then start in the same order each chapter. Suppose you finished up to 7th chapter partnership. Stop accounts, watching accounts. Then come to audit. Then come to audit. Now you might get it out. Sir, 500 to 600 or 650 hours, you are saying, how can we finish within one month? You buy another time. Suppose 31 days course over. One second course access expired. Buy one more time. Again, you will get freshly entire course access. Two times if you buy, third time it is free. Same way, same way it is with respect to even for group 1 as well. Group 1, group 1, we have uploaded approximately 287 videos, approximately 500 hours of content, not 500, 450 hours of content, still 150 hours approximately is pending. But anyhow, we even kept our December month recordings, December attempt recordings, don't worry. So with respect to income tax, we you have this facility to watch our December attempt recordings, income tax still we are uploading because we are the first one in the market. Uh, in the entire fraternity who are uploading may, may attempt lectures completely newly recorded. You take uh, accounting, almost this one also three-fourth is completed. So, costing is completely uploaded. GST is completely uploaded. GST is completely uploaded. So, as soon as you open the store, you can you will have these options like a CA final, subject-wise, regular course, subscription. Suppose you want regular course, not subscription method. I want group 1, group 2 or both groups regular. 6 months validity, 6 months validity, both the groups 1 year validity. You can buy like that. Sir, I want subject-wise. See here, we have subject-wise course also. With the 6 months validity for each subject, each subject cost will be 4000. But believe me, you know, I don't, my primary agenda is not to market here. Getting it? My primary agenda is first to make you enlighten what mistake you are doing. If you keep trust on us, I promise you will not regret taking, you will not regret joining with us with respect to coaching aspect. And I can proudly say we are leaders in giving conceptual coaching at the best possible manner. You don't get, after you listen to our classes, go and try any other institute related classes, you will understand as a whole, ours are the best. That's it. So don't do these three mistakes again. Don't repeat these three mistakes again. No to test series, no to shortcuts. Okay. You can go for chart books, all that at the end of the original preparation. And always, always, always follow right path. And that is what dharma. And the right path is conceptual and comprehensive learning, which is only possible with us, Sureshta. That's it. Carry on. Have a nice time.